What's going on my Cardano friends and welcome to the sixth episode of Cardano Daily. In this episode we're going to be talking about Ethereum staking. We're going to talk about the future of Cardano, why Cardano hate is actually kind of good and also some other things including you know analysis and also the ADA revolution. So if you want to hear about that stay tuned. But first things first I want to talk about a recent partnership with invest x stake pool that i have made now running my own stake pool i am not the most technical person i could figure out how to do it but for now and probably for a while i am going to be partnering with invest x and the sstx to do a stake pool now i do profit from this partnership i just want to let you guys know that but earning ada for free has never been so easy right you can stake your ada and earn ADA, and if you want to do that and support me too you can use NVSTX stake pool ticker link down in the description to the pool and you can earn ADA while staking your ADA just a few simple clicks I'll also leave the link down to how to stake your ADA down in the description so that being said let's move on to today's news and the first things first is talking about Ethereum staking and Ethereum staking if you haven't heard there was a major staking event where the people holding the private keys of the people staking lost 75 million dollars worth of user funds and that was pretty bad but there's also a thread how that was just a tip of the iceberg go fast and break things for social media apps not financial infrastructure that's why cardano to me is a good future proof system and now you're going to see here this is a long thread we're not going to go over it but it's essentially going over ethereum's problems and the underbelly of mev and how bad it really gets in terms of centralizing forces now we're going to scroll down here and you're going to see how many things are broken in this tweet thread. And if you want to read through and all see everything you can, I'll leave the link down in the description to the tweet thread, but it goes on for a while. There's a lot of things that are wrong with this. There's a lot of reasons and it's pretty crazy. And that brings me to the point of, you know, further development on Cardano and not this tweet here, but so many people looking at ethereum and cardano and hating on cardano and i don't think that cardano hate is actually bad i think cardano hate is really good because in the event that cardano does exactly what it's supposed to do and delivers on these things that it has been working on for years there's not going to be much left to hate about and all of the hate is really just people who don't have or i don't have time to explain to them that this is going to be a huge thing and this is going to change a lot of people's lives for the better. Now, people who are all in on one projects or maximalists can be a little bit annoying and I try not to be too maximalist, but in my eyes, Cardano has a lot of really good things behind it. And I think the hate given to Cardano is actually beneficial because once Cardano proves this hate wrong, the people who are hating on it or the people attracted to Cardano from the hate are actually going to see that Cardano is really good. And Cardano has a lot of good things about it. Cardano is going to change the world, bring better, more transparent banking to the world, and do it in an academically sourced way so people don't lose money. People don't lose $75 million. So I think the hate is actually a good thing because the hate is going to drive people to actually put the spotlight on Cardano. And Cardano's spotlight is going to be directed to, actually, why are people hating on this? This is a really good cryptocurrency it's got a lot of things going for it and in the light of that some good actually cardano news from a plutus pioneer um, just ran the and compiled serialized and run sorry compiled serialized and run in that order the first smart custom smart contract validation script on cardano alonzo blue test net obviously but so much love from the car community and thank you all for helping and supporting. Now, what does the functional use case of this custom smart contract entail? Ultra fast ALS and light clients, Cardano in the browser and on phones. So just a really good step in the right direction for uh, you know practical use cases of Cardano and running some custom smart contracts on Alonzo Blue. This is pretty awesome and I really do like this step. And it's kind of cool how Charles responded to a tweet about the functional use case. Very nice. Now, another thing we're going to be looking at is people commenting on analysis or being experts or critics in the comment section, whether it be on a YouTube video or a Twitter reply, and how when you go and look at those people's profiles or you go and look at something they're doing, they're not building anything. Those are people 
that aren't actually making big bold analysis they're just there to put you down so if you're one of those people who gets bogged down by comments or sees comments and critics and get really mad at them just try to not to worry too much about it try to tell myself that too but a lot of the experts and critics in the comment section aren't really experts or critics and they're not making actual analysis they're not actually trying to stand and put their face out there they're not really that confident in their views if they're just typing that in the keyboard so keep that in mind and one last thing before we end this episode of cardano daily i know the last tweet wasn't really related to cardano but i wanted to keep it personal because that is this channel and this channel is going to continue to be personal because i like that so join the ada revolution whether whenever you like an open invitation if you will and i tweeted this out yesterday because i really do believe that Cardano kind of brings people together and it's an open invitation. There's no pressure to uh, join the revolution. I know it's kind of called like but there's no pressure to realize that Cardano is a good project. There's no pressure to be a maximalist in Cardano. And it's not just Cardano that's going to win. It's a lot of other things. It's Bitcoin, maybe Ethereum. Ethereum's going to be a good competitor. Maybe Solana is going to come up and really compete with Cardano and push it to its limits. I really hope so, because that's going to develop a lot of new things faster in the blockchain space and in the crypto space. But the revolution that is Cardano or whatever cryptocurrency, especially Cardano, you're not going to be outcast because you hated on it uh, two years ago. You can join whenever you like, and you can start liking Cardano whenever you like. And most of the people, majority of the people in the Cardano community are going to open you with welcome arms. Okay. Just want to point that out. Most other crypto spaces are not like that. Most of them are full of hate, but my completely biased opinion, I do believe that Cardano community is one of the best and it has a lot of good, nice and genuine people inside of it. There are a lot of good crypto communities with genuine people inside of it, but I have found Cardano to be a lovely place to reside in the crypto Twitter and in crypto land. So, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you want to support me and you want to earn interest on your ADA to stake with NVSTX, link down in the description to the Cardano pool if you want to check it out. But thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next freaking video. Peace out.